This documentary follows the life of 54-year-old Ramilekun Akinyemi, who has sickle cell anemia. Throughout the film, she talks about what life has been like living with this disease and the impact she wants to make more people aware of sickle cell. My name is Remile Kumawasola Kode, HBSS, age 53. I'll, I'll, I'll be 54 by June. According to my mom, I was diagnosed with sickle cell as at the age of six months. You just find out that I, I'm always uh, crying in the night, and uh, they had to be parading the hospital or to be now diagnosed me to be SS. Don't seek, sir. Don't seek, sir. I told her she tells you in your sweetie. She wants SS. Me will tell body. Bashi bearing me. Only big job you met all the mouth, banya, she really matching from Cocoma, Coco Joko, Kama, Solo Sikarama, Kakuma, K. Bashi bearing you. Anti fifty plus, Bashi Babu. Sickle cell disease is a genetic disorder that affects millions of people around the world. It's caused by a mutation in hemoglobin gene, which leads to the production of abnormal hemoglobin molecules. These molecules cause red blood cells to become rigid and crescent-shaped, which can obstruct blood vessels and cause a variety of health problems. To be born with sickle cell disease, a child has to inherit a copy of the sickle cell gene from both their parent there was a time when babies born with sickle cell anemia rarely lived past age five. I've heard of that on several occasions that uh, SS patients used to die early. I've been stigmatized. I've been talked to. Some people in the area have said things to me, especially when I'm in crisis and maybe they are rushing me to the hospital. Uh, people say a lot of things. Even they call, uh, there was a day I heard somebody call me an Ogbanji. That uh, they should go and throw me where I'm an Ogbanji. But um, growing up as an SS patient has not been easy for me. I've not, it has not been easy, but I managed to scale through with the help of God. By growing up, I wanted to be a journalist. I used to tell my parents that I want to be a journalist. And I see them on TV talking, especially news where they are during the time of um, Ruth Benamisia and all, uh, Abike Dabri and all those people there, NTA. Uh, so I, I always crave to be a, a journalist. I used to tell my parents, oh, I'm going to be a journalist. One day I will appear on the TV and be. Uh, the, how do I put it? And be on news. I will go and read news on uh, NTA stations before all of that TV stations started springing up then. I did not achieve as a journalist, but I managed to go to school. I went to University of Lagos. I did another course. Because growing up, my mind was changing from journalism to another thing. So. I didn't study journalism at all. I didn't go. I didn't even go through that side. I went into sciences. I read computer science. I was diagnosed with ABN like twenty. Let me say twenty, twenty-seven years ago. Twenty-seven years ago, after I gave back to my first child, it was. They, they, they left at the initial stage, then it went to the right. So both, I was having both issues, both AVN issues. Right now, I'm battling with uh, a vascular necrosis of the second leg. I've done the surgery of one leg. 
and um, also I'm battling with my organs. You know, as an SS patient, as you are aging, you, you tend to have organ issues. Uh, like now, I've been diagnosed of um, kidney in the stone. I'm a stone kidney. Uh, kidney, uh, failing kidney, ovarian cyst, uh, all in the ribs. So those are the things I'm battling presently. And uh, again, I have every hand of the shoulder as well. I cannot lift my shoulder like I used to. You cannot go less than this now to raise it up. It will be very painful. So that's what I'm going through now. People living with sickle cell disease report that the disease impacts relationships when the partner has misconceptions about sickle cell disease. Nobody wants to marry an incest patient. Well, uh, I thank God I was able to go into a good relationship. Although it's late now, the man is late. And uh, I thank God I could produce two children. Then aside from that, I didn't really get a good relationship any longer. And uh, even before then, the moment people hear she's an SS patient, or the moment you tell them you're an SS patient, they flee. They don't want to stay. Some of us are lucky in relationships, some are not lucky. So relationship, in terms of relationship, even with friends, some friends do understand, some neighbors do understand, and some do not. Even at times they tag you as something else. They don't want to have anything to do with you as an SS patient. Hard labor with crisis. Then you want to give back. And uh, you understand the kind of, thank God for good hands, good doctors. They are, I think when I wanted to give birth, we, I, we have a, I have about four or five doctors that surrounded me at the at the uh, at the labor room. Uh, it's not easy for an SS patient when they want to give birth, but for it to be more easier for us, we need to be constantly be in the hospital. When I want to give birth, I was given like about two months rest in the hospital. I was on that place on admission for two months before giving birth. Then after almost 10 years, I gave birth to my second child. So you can imagine how older my firstborn is to my second. Although these days I see warriors giving birth maybe two or three years after they gave birth to the first one, was we, we our sickle cell pain is pains differ we some are severe some are not that severe so when i say an SS patient that just gave birth three years ago pregnant again i used to feel don't they feel the pain so when i was giving birth i went through a lot of transitions again i was always in the hospital I was on admission, so I gave birth. So labor is painful, but sickle cell is more painful. So harder to eat. <laughs> it was not easy, but I still gave birth. I do buying and selling. I sell drinks, but because of my the, the legs that I'm having issue with, because I use. Uh, walking stick or crutches once in a while I don't really go to my shop any longer and I have the when I started having issue with my organs again so I had to stop because it was stressing for me I had to stay at home and do and, and be there at home because going to my shop and coming back I get tired the second day at times I will not be able to to do anything. Extreme tiredness, when I mean tired. Extreme tiredness. 
to get off will be difficult for me. So I limit my movement. So presently, let me say, I'm partially not doing anything because of my ailments. We used to beg for funds as an SS patient. At times, the, the surgery you are going for, 3 million, 2 point something million, where do you get it? But Nigeria as a place, they don't really care. They don't really care for us. They don't, even if you post your, this thing, people will not respond the way they are supposed to respond. You get it, but nothing thing people can use to support me if they can be of help in terms of finances, financial help. Maybe I want to do surgery now. I have I still have lots of surgery to go through. I have surgeries. I have AVN, I have the one from the belly and you know, it's a lot of money. And you know, when you go to people that helps you, they get tired. They get tired. That's the thing. Ah, the society should have accept us. Uh, sorry, I'm being emotional. <laughs> the society should just, they should accept us as warriors. They should not stigmatize us. Do you know Sikhu is not widely spread? People don't know what we go through, the pain we go through. Let me, let me tell you something. Uh, an SS patient can testify to it, to this. We go through pain every day. But we just manage the pain. Every blessed day that you sleep and wake up, you go through pain. The more reason why I, we take our drugs every day. Just for you to live a normal life. Even And the moment that you are doing diagnosis of AVN of the leg, your movement is limited because it's very painful to move around. Your movement is limited. And uh, I just beg the society that they should, they should be of help. They should be of help. They should be of help to us. We are going through a lot. We are going through pains. It's not easy. It's not easy. That's why I used to give it up to caregivers of an SS patient. I give it up to them. They are really, really doing a good job, a great job. It's not easy as an SS patient. It's not easy. We, and we go to pray every day. Every blessed day, we go to pray. Pain. And, you know, some get to understand that when they are in severe crisis, they don't make it. They die. That's why even we record another death as at three days ago. They die. Maybe it's because they are frustrated. Maybe it's because there's no money for treatment. When they get to the hospital before, you know, all this. At times maybe it's chest pain. I've got I've go to chest pain on several occasions. That by the time you get to the hospital, if you are not careful, you may, you may not make it. Sickle cell disease is a serious and complex condition that requires ongoing management and treatment. By staying informed and working closely with healthcare professionals, people with sickle cell disease can take steps to manage their symptoms and live healthy, fulfilling lives. I used to say this each time they asked me this question about my thoughts for warriors. See, sickle cell is not a death sentence. Sickle cell is not a death sentence. Like I said earlier, I said I'll be 54 by June. We have people that are, are much more older than me and are sickle cell warriors. They, they should manage their, their health. They should not, they, they should believe they can do it. They should believe they can do it. There's nothing God cannot do. Once you believe that you can do it, you will do it. You will be, you, you, you will be at the top. 
those simple cell will not allow you to have what you want to have. Like myself now, I did all my plans when I was younger, much younger, I couldn't get them because of sickle cell. I couldn't jump everywhere, do this, do that. It's not easy. Because if I try it, <laughs> the second day, I know what that body will hack some. But sickle cell is not a death sentence. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Don't, because of sickle cell, be lazy. No. And I do not have leg pain. I used to move out. I go to friends, I play. I, even till date, I still go out. I'll take my drugs and off I go. Even with all the organ issue in me, I still, I still move. I move. That's it. So you should not be lazy thinking that you have sickle cell. You have to relax. No, because it's not a death sentence. Encourage yourself. Believe in yourself. And God will do the rest for you. <laughs>